Today I have a listener question and it says, my 12 year old daughter recently admitted to suffering from depression and anxiety. She will be starting to see a mental health professional soon, but I would also like to introduce her to the basic PS Tech click track and teach her how to use it. Is this advisable? Do you have any advice or precautions to share? Thank you. So teenagers can use the click tracks just like any adult. Uh, it may be beneficial to talk to her mental health care professional to make sure that they advise that. Um, you know, and if they don't know what PS Tech is, you can just maybe ask if hypnosis might be beneficial to them or uh, the EFT thing or, you know, anything like that and see if uh, that mental health care professional recommends that kind of work for them or not. Uh, and of course, <laughs> um, the PS Tech guy, Tim Fazakerly, says not to use it on kids, but really it's just kind of to protect himself legally. Lots of people use it on their kids. Lots of teenagers have used it. Um, and it is successful if you follow through and use it. So for what it's worth, you know, get, get a professional's opinion on whether it's a good idea to use on that individual or not. Uh, but it does work if they do it, if they follow through and use it just like any adult would. Now, the challenge to me is that I don't even work with people under 25 most of the time because they're not willing to look at their negative emotion long enough to clear it. So <laughs> we as Americans overall have become masters at avoiding our emotions. So we've learned to stuff it down. We've learned to cover up our feelings with alcohol or drugs or shopping or porn or sex or social media, whatever we can do to escape our feelings, we're going to do it. So, you know, I'm glad that there's things like PS Tech that can actually help us heal those feelings, uh, which is much healthier than ignoring them, stuffing them down, or wallowing in them. So <laughs> that's all beneficial. But it's been really few and far between people who've been on the younger side, who've been mature enough and driven enough to do this work on themselves. And that's, that's more the challenge than anything else. And this isn't putting down anyone who uses phones. This isn't, you know, a criticism of this particular generation or anything. It's just a matter of fact <laughs> that younger kids, like really, people who grew up on mobile devices of any kind have, they, they're, They've proven they're having less sex, they're doing fewer drugs, and they're not drinking as much alcohol as the generations previous because they're getting their dopamine fixes and all their happy chemicals from the devices. And it's like this feeder. <laughs> it's like you get on that device and it's just like ding, 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 ding. Here's all of these happy chemicals. And so that's how this generation is avoiding their feelings. Um, and like I said, that's nothing against them. It's just the way it is. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm not on my phone a lot. Like it's just, it's how our culture and society is right now. And there are benefits to it. I mean, it's great that younger people aren't engaging in dangerous sexual activity, drug addiction, um, drinking alcohol all the time to numb out, that they have this other device to numb out on. But it's just, it's another addiction and it's another way to avoid feelings. So a lot of times, unless they are really suffering and struggling and driven to feel better themselves and do the work themselves, they're probably not going to follow through. I've had a, young, a lot of young people who just will not go swimming in their negative thoughts and feelings and emotions for anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes to do a few rounds to clear a thing. But sometimes they are. Sometimes they're ready. Sometimes they just are tired of being in their own heads and they're tired of being stuck and they're ready and willing to do the work. And hopefully your daughter is one of those people 
And if she actually focuses on the things that have really upset and bothered her and the things that she tends to dwell on and hold on to and the things that just pop up in her head in the middle of the night and wake her up and she can't fall asleep to, like, have her work on those things. That's really what needs to happen is just basically whatever's bothering her, whatever negative things from her past have occurred. I mean, the person who sent this question in has worked with me, so she knows what to do. So you know what to do. Uh, just have your daughter do some of that work and it will be beneficial if she's ready, if she wants to follow through and do that. So other than that, it's really no different than using it on any adult or anything. So good luck and I can't wait to hear how it goes.